The most important thing about starting a business is how can I make the most amount of money doing the easiest and most enjoyable amount of work. I've ran three different types of major service businesses, lawn care, trash can cleaning, and mobile detailing. In this video, I'm going to tell you which one is the most profitable and still fits in that column of something that you could do for a long time and doesn't wear you down. Stick around to the end of the video because what I'm about to tell you I've never said before and could save you and make you thousands of dollars. I do have to say that this is specifically centered around my own personal opinion of work that I prefer to do, amount of money that I prefer to make, and it's going to be very different for everybody that tries. When it comes to each of these services, every single one has their own very strong strengths as well as their weaknesses and the amount of labor that you have to do, amount of equipment that you have to purchase. Also, the difficulty of landing jobs is a very big play in it. When it comes to a service like mobile detailing, which is something I have specifically offered since the very beginning and has made me significant amounts of money, my business has carried me a long way because of how easy and simple the price points can actually get, especially because the mid-range of customer that's willing to pay for a detail is between $200 and $300 to $400. This is something that a lot of people can afford, especially if they're getting their cars detailed, which is something that needs to happen very often for them. So now you've set yourself in a service that happens very recurring. A lot of people are getting their vehicles detailed every two, three, four months, especially if you have a long list of clients, you're going to be detailing cars very often, very frequently, especially with such a nice price point. Everybody has multiple vehicles. Everybody has a need for this because their vehicles get dirty every day. If you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, or collecting payments from all of your customers for free, then check out Quota Q in the App Store and the Google Play Store or you can try any paid tier right now for just $1 at mycoreiq.com, which is going to be the first link in the comment section and the description. Also, if you sign up for any tier for a year using my link, you're going to get a free coaching call with me. And I will say that none of these businesses are very like high cost to entry. A lot of them are very, very low cost to entry. Even if you start scaling up, you're going to need to buy a couple more things, but a lot of them really just require a pressure washer, especially trash can cleaning and mobile detailing. I would say mobile detailing is a little more expensive, whereas trash can cleaning comes in as a little less equipment that you need. But mobile detailing isn't just all great. There's a lot of people that you don't actually want to end up servicing. There's a lot of vehicles that are going to take you immense, immense amounts of times. And a lot of these customers do not want you to ask a ton of questions. Whereas in mobile detailing, there's a lot of un known. There's a lot of things that you need to know. You need to know if the customer has dog hair all over their seats. This is something customers do not want to answer because they know you're going to quote them higher. So mobile detailing customers are definitely more difficult, especially because that price point is a little higher. The labor is a little more difficult than a trash can cleaning, especially from the time difference. You could probably do a detail in about two or three hours. When it comes to trash can cleaning, you get the benefit of the fact that this is the lowest cost to entry business that you could possibly run. Also, your marketing is going to be very simple and very easy because a lot of these customers are very willing to pay $10 20 dollars we also have to fact in the amount of labor it takes to do a trash can cleaning it is like negative four there's no comparison when it comes from lawn care to mobile detailing and then once you get the trash can cleaning you're knocking jobs out in 10 15 minutes maybe the trash cans could be pretty bad they could be gross so going and doing the jobs is nastier definitely but the amount of time it takes you to finish is nowhere near but you do have to remember you're going to have a very difficult time building up this large volume of customers specifically because nobody knows about trash can cleaning as well as the recurring value is very strong. Everybody's trash can gets dirty and they could probably get their cans cleaned every two weeks, three weeks, maybe even every other month or every two months. But the problem here is that a lot of these guys have no idea about it, as well as they probably won't care after the first or second cleaning. At the end of the day, how much time does each customer really spend with their trash can compared to their car? Lastly, we have lawn care. This one is kind of a doozy for me. I started lawn care back when I was in high school, and it is very labor intensive. There's a lot that goes on whenever you're trying to do lawn care, especially if you don't have a full team. Of course, it's low cost to entry off in the beginning because there's not a lot of yards that you have, and it's going to be a little more simple, but you can scale up extremely quickly. I mean, the recurring value on a lawn care service is so high that it's probably one of the most lucrative, also one of the most profitable services in my opinion, but the labor is a little bit up there, especially once you start to get to like 10, 15 yards a day. But from a certain standpoint of labor that I would actually comfortably want to do every single day, this is not an option. This is not something that I want to run long term. Maybe a little bit of a side hustle, it makes good money, but it's very difficult over time. So the couple things that matter the most in your business is how much does it start to begin? How often are you going to be able to do recurring jobs for customers? How likely are customers to want you to come back? As well as how good is your price point with a normal customer in order to pull a large volume of them. And finally, what is the scalability of this business? What is the actual number that if you were offering the fastest service, highest quality service that you could get your prices to? At the end of the day, I hate to say it, but all of these services are extremely wonderful to start, especially depending on the kind of person that you are and the kind of work that you don't mind doing. You can make money doing all of them, but otherwise mobile detailing and lawn care are my top dogs. If you guys want to learn how I've made thousands of dollars with low ticket services like trash can cleaning and mobile detailing, check out the second link in the comment section description 
description, there you're gonna gain access to our school community. In the community, we have multiple courses, including my own course on trash can cleaning, as well as the course that I explain how I've gotten my first $10,000 in clients for completely free. In the community, you're also gonna get access to the before and after pictures that I use to land these jobs, as well as an entire community full of like-minded individuals who wanna start these low ticket services. So if you're ready to get started, check out the second link in the comment section description. We're running a special discount for the first couple of people that do join. So if you wanna lock it in at the cheapest price and get the most value, join today.